Wagwan, guys, and welcome back to Combat Corner 2024. My name is Kobe. My name's Jackson. And you know what? Today we're going to have a bit of fun. We're going to get back into it for the year. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff to talk about. A few little, few little bits and bobs. We've got a drink here. As always. Jackson's favorite oh, boss. Yeah. Well, we, we shouldn't have exposed that because now people are going to think I'm going to have a biased review. Yeah, but they might sponsor us and send you loads. Oh. Um, so... Also, to talk about, there have been obviously no fights since, no fight. well, not big enough fights to mention, but uh, there has been a lot announced and a few murmurings on, on the old socials over the yep. uh, Christmas New Year break. Yep, yep, for sure. There's also one thing I did forget, Parker. I'm going to have to apologize to a bunch of people. Joseph um, Parker. We actually both picked Parker yeah, before we did. that fight, we did. so That's we don't have to apologize to anyone. We don't, I'm not apologizing, right? You know who you are. Yeah. They probably have no idea. They're probably not watching. But without further further ado, let's get into the show, eh? I think so. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Combat Corner. That was the softest we yeah well opening. it's not it's not fuzzy is it it's no it's, oh yeah true it's just it's a flat coffee in a in a can in a can but I, that, in a can that's one thing i will say before i delve into my my first sip i like the steel cans that Same. these come in they are solid man they're fucking rock hard yeah rock hard i love things that are rock hard mm, i know you do um, um no this is this is good i've got jujitsu later and this should give me a little little bit of a a little bit of a jump. In nice energy. little boost. A little boost. Do you know what I really like about these? Is there's bugger all sugar in them. Mm. There is just under 15 grams of sugar. That's, yeah, that's Which, like, good. for a, a canned drink that you buy from a dairy or a service station, you know, that's, pretty good. that's pretty good. Drinking one of these is much better than drinking a can of energy drink. Yeah. Like, like you know. Oh, hell yeah. A can of like. energy drink, on average, you're looking at 50 grams plus. Mm. Like, that's, uh, yeah, Even that's these probably lower end, I'd say. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, the big ones, for sure. Those big... Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was talking about a 500ml can. Because if you're getting an energy drink, you're getting a 500ml yeah. can, aren't you? Well, you're not walking into the store and going, I'll just have a little one. You only get a little one if you've already had a big one that day. Well, that's, this is coming from someone who was addicted to This is coming from someone who, who went down a hole I never for went a down long that time with Blue V. And, and, you know, I'm out now. I used to really like... Well, I don't really drink them ever now. Every now and then I'll get one, just as like a bit of a treat. And usually I'll get like a, a a monster, one of the sugar-free monsters, the white ones, or mm. just a, one of the sugar-free ones. And um, I used to like, I used to have them maybe like once or twice a week. And I used to like the sugar-free white monster. That was like my favorite one. I've never, I've never been a fan of the old monsters, eh? They always, for me, they just taste, uh, they taste way too sweet. But... Oh yeah, I can see that. They're a bit like primey. Huh? Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I used to love that. And I just Very primal. Down it, or, or the Musashi uh, energy drink. Uh, pre-workout cans they're good they're really good zero sugar as well they taste pretty fucking nice i've actually tried them and the orange one's really nice real good i remember that yeah but you want to be doing a workout yeah you have one because it's got the um, beta alanine and it, it makes charges it you up good very good how was your break kobe Ah, oh, how was my break it was good it was very good since the last when, did we, when was the last time we recorded it would have been the saturday before christmas 23rd I think that sounds right yeah the 23rd since then it's been about two weeks time uh i've had a good break i spent most of my time at home uh did a lot of drinking caught up with a lot of friends uh caught up with a lot of family played a lot of video games and made a couple of little resolutions trying to improve myself Lovely. uh so I'm, I'm pretty excited you know coming into this year i'm feeling feeling good feeling motivated feeling uh a bit buzzed you know that's a lot of feelings. Yeah, I'm feeling good, man. Wow. Feeling horny. Well, oh, okay. There's another <laughs> I'm one. I'm horny. He just keeps belting them off. Oh, yeah. Nice. So, yeah. No, my, my break was good. Um, it was. I have missed MMA. I haven't done as much training as I thought I would have done. Done a little bit. Um, me and a mate met up for some sparring on Thursday last week. That was good. Hit the bag a couple times. Not in that way. But, um, yeah, lifted some weights. But, uh, yeah, I'm full, fully in my routine back again now i feel good you know lovely well what this is you? just another thing to add on to that routine is it yes isn't it? it is and I'm, I'm excited to be back i'm excited to see your beautiful faces everyone yeah <laughs> well literally just your face yeah <laughs> ah! oh no <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, that everything just clipped off. The uh, my break. My break Your was break. good. Uh, I went on a little bit of a turkey tour around the South Island with one of our uh, with one of our avid listeners, friends of the shows. Uh, Zachary, shout out Zach uh, for coming on that little turkey tour. What places tour. did you go? I went to I went to Hanma. Good place. Hanma Springs. I went to Murchison, which oh, is yeah. a little town um, okay. along the Lewis Pass. Um, what a quirky little town. I went into the museum there. Nice little spot. I Good must say, nice little spot. Um, lovely river there too. Uh, the merch. I've heard of that. Yeah, it's, mm. it's, it's, it's a nice little spot. And then went up to Takaka after that um, and spent just under a week in Takaka. Nice. Or just outside of Takaka. It's a nice spot. Takaka Shall we say nice that spot. again? It's a nice spot. Should, nice we say, should we say nice spot one more time? Have I said that? I've, I've said it a few oh, times shit. and then you kind of just jumped on it. What so. are we doing, it's guys? It's a lovely destination. Guys. Um, it is. But yeah, nice I, I enjoyed a wee festival up there and then kind of moseyed back on down to Christchurch. <laughs> what was the and, festival you, you liked to attend? Uh, that you twisted attended? Frequencies. Mm. It's a, a lovely little little gathering there in the, in the mountains. Mm. Um, but yeah, five days of that. What was your highlight? My highlight? Uh... Oh, there was a comedy day on the last day, and that was really enjoyable. Um, some of it was a bit, eh, you mm. know, not quite hard hitting enough for, for my liking. Not like uh, they weren't offending anyone, which yeah. really bothered me. Um, but That's yeah, awesome. it was it was good value. Um, and there were some really awesome musical acts. Um, shout out to H. Julia, a New Zealand artist. Uh, oh, Headland, yeah. another one. Um, I really enjoyed their sets. So yeah, I'd say that was my highlight. Very nice. Yeah, that is, that is bloody good, mate. Um. Sounds like you had a great time. You got up to a lot of a lot of stuff. Yeah, we haven't actually seen each other since oh, since Christmas. Mm. Yeah, Christmas day was the last day. We both got a little bit drunk, had a bit of fun. Um, I can't even remember that to be honest. It, was, it feels like ages ago. But yeah, it, it does like, feel like ages ago. Mm. Like random. Well, it was last year. Wow. You're yeah. gonna go and do that, do okay? It, <clears throat> but it honestly, yeah, it feels like feels like a very long time. So it's recording this last show, the last show that we did, feels like even longer yeah. well, it was even longer ago but it feels like like ages since our last show which is pretty crazy but um does it feel like ages for you guys too does it guys leave a comment down below anyway i, what I do want we to want say to one see? more thing though oh, okay yeah. um go on we've got a lot of a lot of stuff planned for this year this year combat corner will be evolving it will we've got a lot of ideas we're horny we're really just more we're edging at the moment. We're, tr we're edging. We're going to edge our way through 2024. Yeah. We're going to be edging the whole way. Yeah. And then at the end. For you guys. Yeah. We're going to set a few goals. I, I have. You probably have too. Oh, um, you know me, mate. I'm, he's I'm, all, he's I'm all a about goal, goal setter from way back. I've got a blue book as well now. Do you? Well, I've had I need it to find where mine is. It could be here. I think it is. It probably it's, is. It's got some pretty embarrassing content in it, so... <laughs> Let's let's it's in the hands of Liam Jack. Let's figure that out. Um anyway, yeah. What do we want to see in 2024? So, are break. we are we talking about politics? Football? I think what we well we'll talk about mixed, uh, martial. mixed martial arts and combat sports because okay. that I think is generally what we cover here um in the that combat is, corner. That is the name does kind of What are you looking uh, forward to most? So, what not not see? announced wise. Um we'll, we'll go over that first. So, things that haven't been announced that we kind of want to predict potentially predict or just you know our dreams uh for me i'd love to see i'd love to see conor mcgregor return i think that'd be fun it's been a while and i want to see where he's at i don't think he's going to be the same guy but oh hell no no but there's always some energy some you know excitement extra excitement when it's a mcgregor fight that we haven't had in a very long time so you know having him back and um experiencing you know connor mania again depending on who he fights obviously i don't think he's going to be the same guy but i want to see who what what he is what he's still got in the tank you know mm. so that's that's one thing that i'm really excited about yeah i, I think one you're right thing. that 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 return will answer a lot of questions well, i mean for me from where i'm sitting i kind of think the reason he's taken so long to get back is just purely it's like a drugs it, well that and now that USADA's out of the, the UFC, that'll probably help his return. But I think, yeah, the, the, the whole training, all, all the training that he's been doing has has not been as intense as I would like to see for someone who's trying to make a, a big return to the yeah. octagon and make a statement uh, and have a statement win over. Like, if he comes back and fights Michael Chandler like he's supposed to, 
it's not an easy fight by Hell any no, means man. in any weight class. You know, like he's one of the top top guys at yep. lightweight. He's had wars with Poirier and uh, Gaethje, and if he was slightly smarter, he could have won both of those fights. Yep. Um, <clears throat> even the Charles fight, he probably he definitely could have won that fight. And these are all top guys who have been active, consistent. Uh, Connor hasn't fought since he. Well, when was the last time Connor fought? It, it was, was Poirier, obviously. Yeah, it was Poirier when he broke his leg. So that was about 2021, I believe. Yep. Uh, and in that, since then, Chandler has been doing bits, and he's I not. I watched that at your parents' yet. place. Oh yeah, he did the, the leg break, didn't? That was yeah, the last yeah, fight was... card we watched together. I think probably well, one of yeah. them. That was sad. A, that well, you you didn't really watch the UFC back then. No, no, I didn't. So that was like, I think that was my way point. into it. Yeah, on a yeah. mania. Um, so yeah, I honestly, I'd love to see him come back and challenge someone who was like outside of the top ten. But I know that's that's not going to happen. You want to see um, him fight another kind of washed up Cerrone kind of type mm, person again? May not. Just someone who's not as good as Chandler. Chandler is like so good. Up to you. Yeah. So, you know, I'd like to see him maybe even fight like a Max Holloway coming up from featherweight. You know, that's. What, Max, um, Max Holloway at 185? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Max at 185. Get the cookies yeah. going. He always talks about, you know, eating a lot. Food. So He does. He does. He loves his pizza, maybe like, doesn't he? Yeah, he loves pizza, muffins, cakes, and stuff. I think. Really, <laughs> I think so. Yeah, wow. who doesn't, bro? No, I I do, but I just, it just doesn't. He doesn't strike me as a muffin guy. You know, if I walked into a cafe in Holloway, and I yeah. talked to the look to the left, and and Holloway's sitting there having a, a blueberry muffin, you know, and some caramel slice, I well, would yeah. be taken back. He's never mentioned bit. caramel slice. Well, I am. You are okay. So you like caramel slice? I'm just no. Know what to get him for Christmas next well, year? Holloway is another name I want to bring up because there is someone I want to see fight this year in in an exciting event that's not just the headline of a fight night or fighting another guy who's making their way through featherweight. Mm. We spoke a little bit, uh, well, not a little bit. We raved on and on last year about, about him Gaethje. versus Gaethje for mm. the BMF. But it sounds like... It sounds like Gaethje's going to fight for the belt. Yeah, and good on him. Yeah, he deserves like, it. Why would he not? Mm. Um, if the opportunities are there, then yeah, 100%. Yep, if they're, if they're going to skip Charles, if they're going to do that, then Gaethje is the rightful guy to take that place. Um, yeah. He's the only other one besides Charles that deserves a shot. And if uh, Islam is real, real big on this idea that I don't want, I want to fight someone new, which is fair enough. Like he's fought Volk twice. He convincingly beat Charles. He wants a new challenge. Fair enough. I fully understand that. He's only got a certain amount of time in his career. He wants That's to be, right. beat as many different people as he, as he can. Yeah. He kind of deserves it. He deserves to call the shots a little bit. Oh, I, 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 I agree. Yeah. Um, and he to like it, 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 it is a novelty belt, but he does have some silverware behind him now as well. So he does. Yeah. There is some hype behind. And you can put that belt on the line. Yeah, you can market that. Well, no, you could. You won't put that on the line against Islam. <laughs> Want to try some words, maybe? <laughs> I, I, he's, I don't know. He's maybe. not marketable as a BMF. Well, who? Islam, what's he going to say that's bad? You know what I mean? That makes him a motherfucker. I don't know. But I'm sure he'd want it. And if you want to say it's a double headline, a double belt event, BMF, lightweight, <clears throat> I don't know. The BMF title is dumb. Mm. Let's be real. And like you say, Islam it's doesn't want that belt. shit. It's a novelty belt. But surely it would be on the line, right? Because Gaethje holds it. Well, Mars Vidal bought uh, Covington and it didn't. Go to Covington. Oh, yeah. Suppose, and he also fought uh, Kamaru right after he won the belt. Didn't put it on the line. Yeah. So, so no. Yeah. Uh, I don't think yeah. it will go on the line against Islam. Neither. It will go on the line against a marketable person who is a dog, essentially, who we have. Connor. S- uh, hey? Connor. Connor has. He has. Yeah. Connor doesn't need a BMF belt to be marketable or no. to, to have some hype behind him. Will Connor fight for the BMF belt? I could see it happening. He's got the attitude. He's got the the history in terms of like the shit talking and all that kind of stuff. Does he have the brawls in the octagon that we've seen from the the other guys that have held that belt? I don't know. Maybe not so much. Um, yeah, he usually finishes people pretty quickly. Yeah. He usually dominates when he wins. So oh, I suppose he, the two Diaz fights were pretty bad. They were, Yeah. They, and yeah. the Chad Mendes fight was pretty fucking crazy. But how long ago? Was, yeah, that was a long time ago. But yeah. we're talking yeah. about a guy who is is way out of his 
time, unfortunately. So yeah, I, I would like that. I would like to see um, Max versus Justin at some point this year. Yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously, if Justin beats Islam, then that probably won't come to fruition. But if not, I yeah. think that is the fight. If, to if make Charles in gets the title fight, yeah, Gaethje versus Holloway for sure, and just have Holloway come to one fifty five. You know, well, depending on the result. Um, I agree. I'd like to. I'd love to see that fight. Um, I'm gonna go out there with another one. Nice. I'd like to see the return of Israel Adesanya. You're all about the returns. I love the return, mate. Yeah, it's a good storyline. You know, I want to see the winner of Rickus Duplessis and Sean Strickland fight Israel Adesanya. Yeah, I want to see that. I don't want to see Izzy fight uh, Hamza. I don't think that's gonna happen. No. I really doubt that that's... It's just not a fucking good idea. Like, what? If uh, Izzy beats him, then you ruin your your, your new up-and-coming guy. If Izzy loses, then... Uh, I just don't know. There's, there's something about that fight that I don't want to see. I don't know why. You're scared. I'm not scared. Okay. Uh, well, what... <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not fighting. No, I know you're not, but you want to see Izzy win. So do I. I get that. But, like, Hamza poses a threat that... Hamza has one round in him. All that against Usman. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Um, I'd like Usman to get another shot at Hamza on a full training camp. Beefed yeah, up. I think they both need to fight other people first before, like their their paths need to collide again naturally for them to fight again. Fun. I think it's boring to continue matching people up against each other. No, you're right. That's because you know. You are. But it would be good to see. I, Usman I, took the fight. I feel like Usman notice. should have. He, he could have beaten him for sure. Do you not? No, I do. Oh, I was just talking. But um, this guy. No, I, I think... Look at him in his pink shirt with his sweaty pits. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, no, oh, I agree shit. with you. I do think Usman could have beaten him, he potentially, on a, on a full camp. But like we said before, MMA math... Doesn't work. It doesn't work. So... Don't try adding. Yeah. Uh, or subtracting. No, but like, or um, times tables, you know, division... It's, really it's just not there. Um, no, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I agree. They should they should fight some fresh ink. Um, I do. <laughs> that fresh doesn't ink. Really make any sense. Okay. I like my shoes, by the way. They are quite nice, snazzy. Yeah. Do you want to show them to the people? Ear shoes, super. Wow, lovely. Moving on. So, um, yeah, I told them for Christmas. <laughs> no, Usman on a full camp would have been a lot more dangerous. But at the end of the day, he took the fight on late notice. Mm. So. No, yeah, I agree. But I, 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 yeah, Izzy versus Hamza, maybe. Yeah, that's what we're talking. Could about. be an interesting fight. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, segueing, right? Segueing yeah, just... back. Uh, Izzy versus Hamza could be could be a fun fight. It could. Maybe I'm a bit scared. Maybe. I just don't. I don't think Hamza could beat Izzy. I really don't think he'd win. No, I, I think yeah, there. It would. It would have to be in the first round, and it would. It would be primarily wrestling, mm. and that's the thing that we've seen when Izzy fights good wrestlers is like for someone who doesn't have much of a ground game in the scheme of things, because he doesn't, he has the most incredible takedown defense yeah, and just pretty good uh, distance management. It's impeccable. And that's yeah. something that we have seen Hamza take away from people. So, mm. I mean, whether or not he could do that against Izzy, I, I don't know, <clears throat> mm. but until they're in there, but yeah, I agree. Yeah. It would have to be in the first round if he if he beats. I think him. yeah, Hamza has a window of opportunity in a five round fight to be able to beat someone like Izzy. Um, I think it, no, it is a good fight. It is a really good fight because there's a lot of unknowns. Um, but I'm more I am more excited to see Izzy fight the winner of Strickland versus DDP because first of all you've got a, a rematch that's huge. You know, Izzy is he going to be? Um, is he going to do what he did against uh, Pereira? Come back, charged, ready to go. Great game plan. Knock out Sean in the second Sean. round. Yeah. yeah, potentially. Is he? Could he? Maybe. DDP. That's always going to be a great fight because there's there's a bit of beef there. You know, there's fire. So yeah. either either one of those fights would be huge. And I, I I'd prefer to see that first, and then Hamza go fight Whitaker or something. And then, well, that's the thing with Hamza. He's like super unhealthy. Have you seen those pictures of him? Yeah, he's not in a good way. No, he looks sick. Like, and he's always getting sick. He had really bad COVID. I think he overtrains and like maybe he gets sick and keeps training or yeah, something. Maybe. And he's always getting sick and like, you know, it's not good. I feel bad for the guy. He's still young, so he's, still probably, young. he's probably still navigating that whole. How hard can I push myself? Mm. Um, but yeah, I agree. He he does seem like the kind of guy who would overwork himself. For sure. Um, yeah. But that's better than being the other way around. It is in some ways, but 
definitely. Yeah. I mean, just objectively uh, looking at it, like, does Izzy deserve to come straight back and fight for a title? I mean, the last time he fought, he was def- trying to defend his belt for the first time. Mm. So it's not like, I, I know that he is, I'm not saying, like, he is undoubtedly one of the top three middleweights of all time. Um, so yeah, don't, 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 you know, take what I'm, don't, yeah, nice. don't, All right. don't take what I'm saying here too seriously. But when you've, when you've only, you've just won the belt, you lose your next fight. You didn't take a big break. Do you come straight back and fight yeah. for the title again? I think like if, if he didn't have that whole thing with, uh, losing the belt to Pereira and then regaining it, it wouldn't be a question. <clears throat> like he should, he definitely would deserve an instant rematch, but because he had that old saga where he did lose the belt. And then he regained the belt, and then, lost and then he lost away. it again. Then it's it is a little bit more muddy. Like, oh, come on, we can't just keep giving you rematches. You can't just keep losing your belt and getting a rematch. Because there's other people that yeah, that are exactly. that are at the top there. And that's why DDP is getting his his shot, which is rightful. But you know, if he does take a bit of time off and and maybe he chalks the the last fight down to you know, look guys, it was a it was an off night. I didn't train as hard as I should have. I'm gonna come back charged and ready to go. That's that's very marketable. Like Izzy's back and he's back on form you know that's like big so i think give it to him man I, he's he's the guy that i'd want to see fight the winner more than anyone else i don't there's no clear number one contender outside of uh outside of izzy for the next after this fight you know so it seems it'll probably line up with when he wants to return chris weidman oh chris <laughs> brad Tavares as well yeah yeah yeah. these are the guys you know? these are the guys um but yeah I, so circling back, yeah, is he returning against someone unnamed opponent? That's who I. So I'm gonna throw into the mix mm. that dark guy, that 16 nice. year old dark guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who? What? Is there anything else you want to mention? Hmm. Any other ideas? Smart What's... ideas? Quippy little quips that you've got to put out there? Little quippy quips. Uh, Kaikar France. I I, I want to see him make a, a another surge this year. Uh, we saw it a couple years ago now before he you know, got beaten by Marino. Uh, Marino, but pretty bad as well. Yeah. Well, no, no, he looked very he good did look in that good. fight. He just got, got the finish caught. Finish was pretty crazy. That was a cool finish. That body kick was nasty. Painful. Marino proved that he was much better than Kai that night. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, Not yeah. much, but no, uh, he that, was. Dude, that was, a, that was that was that. Well, was it a th- third round finish? I think so, yeah. Yeah. And Kai had. Won the second round. Had lost the first, but yeah, yeah. I, I Marino is yeah a great flyweight, and he's proved that time and time again. But I'd, I, now that that the top of that division has kind of changed around a little bit, and we've we've seen a, a bit of chopping and changing, I want to see Kai kind of make his way back up there, and, and yeah, it would be and good. potentially fight the new champion, in Pantoja. Mm. Um, yeah, that'd be fun. I think he could do bits as well. Yeah, he's got power. Yeah, uh, unlike uh, Roy Val, who. You know, he didn't really have the power to finish off Pantoja with the strikes. He was mm. winning on the feet. Yeah. Uh, someone like Kai comes in with, with heavy hands. Right. Um, could be, yeah, could be good. Could get a finish. I, I, I'll i throw something into the mix that relates to that. I'd love to see Kai versus Manel Cap at yeah, need, some yeah, point yeah. as a main event on a, on a fight night, maybe in New Zealand. That'd be cool. That would be sick. That'd be really cool. We'd vlog that. We'd vlog that. We could go watch it and vlog it. Combat Corner Vlogs. Combat Corner Vlogs, me and Jackson in a little hotel together. Ooh. That goes down to one of our <laughs> other points <laughs> further down. It does. It does. Um, we won't spoil that. We won't spoil that. But It'll yeah, just no, happen. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's just going to happen at some yeah. point. We'll keep the camera on. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So Manel Cap versus Kai Kara France. That's a bit of a, a, a little bit of a hard on giver for me. That Just thinking about that fight makes me a little bit mm. semi. Yeah, so, fair enough. Main event, five rounds, Car of France. Do it. Yeah, Manel Cap is is funny. I like the guy. Yeah, he Based. is. He's and we've talked about it. He is the the fire that the flyweight yeah, division yeah. needs underneath it. I was actually I I got a video recommended. Didn't watch it because I was working. Good on you. But um, yeah, it's dedication. There was a video I got recommended. Is Kai, is Manel Cap the the savior for the one twenty five pound division that we need? Oh, so our listeners are making videos now. Yeah. <laughs> Look at my arm. This yeah, these chair. chairs. These chairs are bad for it, mate. Yeah. Up, Spotty. Uh, they're quite. They're nice chairs. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. What do you think of the I chairs? I feel comfortable in this chair. 
Yeah. I don't have to move around too much. It's yeah, nice. Great. Uh, anything else? Well, I suppose, yeah. Anything we, else? We covered a few. I'd like to see Volkanovsky win. Yeah, that's not be been good. announced yet. <laughs> not, been announced. not been announced, but when that happens, I can't wait. He to got see a win last year. He did, but I can't wait to see him beat um, Loudmouth Poirier. Yeah, because he's going into that fight like he's already won. Yeah, I know. It's... He thinks he's the champ already. I'd love to see him. I get think that's the play out. he needs to make, though. Yeah, in terms yeah. of you know, like no one else has done that against Volk, and at, at featherweight at least, no one's been able to yeah. take him out. So. Yeah, I think this this could be the play, and especially after he's just spoken out about some mental health concerns. You know, yeah. maybe it's the time to kind of play into play, trying to get into his head a little bit. I hate to say it because I obviously want to see Volk, <clears> but win. he's trying to win, and I like Volk Tepori. as a guy. But yeah, if Tapori is going to want, if he's trying to win, you need to get into the guy's head. Yeah, you need to do all you can to to make it happen. And and look, yeah. Tapori is no hating Tapori. I actually really like his fighting style, and I think he's he's good for the sport. He's he's entertaining, but very talented. It's just yeah, the way he's coming into this fight, it's just a bit like if this play if it pays off, you're gonna look like a don, a genius. If but it if, doesn't, if it doesn't, you're gonna look like a dickhead. You may as well retire. Yeah, yeah. literally, because <laughs> the way he's been talking about it, the yeah. promo stuff that he's been putting out there, like he yeah, he needs to win this fight. And yeah, if you do lose, like like we just said, like it's it's not like if. Say if you respectfully build up this fight with Volk and you lose, it's so much easier for you to, you know, put your head down, win a couple fights and get, get straight right back, back to yeah. the belt. But if you're a piece of shit about it, the whole fucking fight camp, no one's going to want to take that fight again. Do you know no. what I mean? Like, And you're, everyone's going to clown you for being delusional. That's right. Like, yeah. And you're going to end up fighting some, you know, 10th ranked guy next. Mm, yeah. Um, you could potentially lose because the whole... You know, the whole MMA community is against you now. Yeah, exactly. And that um, adds a lot of pressure. But he's setting himself up to win. He's putting all his chips on black. Uh, Tapuria is. And, you know, if it pays off, it pays off. And it's going to pay off really well if it does. But he loses. You know? he's, he's, he's putting all his chips on black. Mm. That's the best way to, to think. He's, he's either going to win or he's going to lose. And wow. <laughs> Deep analysis. Yeah. Wow, if he great. if he win if he knocks him if he knocks out how do you think Volk, he how do you think he finishes Volk Volk if he does um probably a knockout knockout flipping him like yeah like a knockout knockout like a he has to finish him by a knockout I, think. Okay. I don't see him winning on the ground uh, although he's got really good grappling and jujitsu just don't see it happening mm. uh Volk, I mean yeah if Volk can get out of that. You know, Volk can do what he did against Islam. Well, you know. I was more going back to Brian Ortega. Oh, but, that, um, yeah. Well, yeah. Volk has proven that his grappling ability is is amazing. Yeah. It's top notch. Like, his Islam head will Ortega, pop before he goes yeah. unconscious. And then he'll just grow a new one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He'll just go, and then he'll slip out. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Whoa, Sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Too late. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I it's got to be a knockout. Uh, Oh man, his hands against Josh Emmett were just way too clean. Um, mm. So yeah, I, I agree. If if Tapori is going to get it done, I think it will be a, a knockout. Yeah. Um, or yeah, I, I don't see him outworking Volk for five rounds. No, I don't see neither. anyone in the featherweight division outworking Volk for five rounds. So yeah, yeah I think it's he has be to be done. He has to knock him out. Mm. Uh, and I think <clears throat> Volk can can win a decision, or he can finish him. Uh, I think if Tapori finishes Volk, it's more than likely going to be in the first two rounds. If if Volk is to finish Deporia, it's probably more gonna, more likely to be like the third or the fourth. Mm. Um, but you know, we'll see what happens. We yeah, will he, see. Kinda, he dismantles his opponents, doesn't he? Yeah, before we've getting seen him, finish. We've seen him do it against the the Korean Zombie. We've seen him do it against uh, yeah. Max Holloway in that last fight. Even yeah. though he didn't get the finish, we there were some big moments yeah. in that fight. Where, and Max had nothing towards the end. That's right. So yeah, Volk. It's the kind of guy who will get in there, get a grasp of you, and then just slowly take away <coughs> your you tools off. to the point where you're like, "Shit, I, I'm yeah, got nothing. I'm now three down, uh, three rounds down, and there's a minute left in the last, and then you just see it, like you just see people get dr- dr- just drained, like yeah. mentally, physically, everything. They're just like, "Who is this guy?" Exactly. And and then you just out game plans them as well, yeah. but in a big way. Um, so that, that's very exciting to see him win again. That would be very nice. Um. What, well, so let's both pick a different fight. We can't choose the same fight, let's say. Fight we are most excited about. Should we say it? 3, 2, 1, and we'll say it. Okay. 
All right. All right. Think about think about well, it. Well, Put some thought into this. So far, what have we got announced this year? We've got Sean. Sean versus DDP, which is which is coming up very shortly. We've That's the Sean. first pay-per-view of the, the year. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got Sean O'Malley versus Chito Avera. Got Bo Nickel. Bo Nickel on USC 300. <laughs> yep. Versus got, um, uh, Cody Brundage, isn't it? Aldo, uh, Aldo versus Qatar. That's a, a nice one. Um, yeah, Cody Brundage. Uh, Qatar. Uh, Ada. Yeah. Whatever. Um, well, you're yeah. the one who always calls out name pronunciation. Right, go on. Rip into me then. Um, it's... <laughs> Pittsburgh. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Three. Wait. 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 I'm oh. not. I'm not ready. Oh, I'm ready. I was ready. You know. I you, think I know what you're. Yeah. You know is. exactly what I'm going for. Um. I got like one guy, man. That's my thing. It's already been announced. Wow. This is. This. Is I know what you're going to pick, so I'm not going to say it right now. It is. Did you want to pick the same one? No. Surely you're more interesting than that. I'm just a... There's a few fights. There's a lot. There's a lot. But you know what? I'll, I'll, okay. I'll say I've got it. Three, two, one. Sean Volk. versus DDP. It's just, just Volk? Oh, okay. <laughs> versus, yeah, just Volk fighting with his demons. Okay. So nah, the fight Volk, that Volk we were just before. talking about, yeah. that's the one you're most yeah. excited well, about? I was, I was tossing out either that or Sean O'Malley, in, but not really that. I don't really give a shit about that fight. Yeah. We, um, uh, uh, yeah. All right, it'll be a good. I'll be excited to see what happens, but I don't really care. No, I, that that fight frustrates me more than anything. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see Sean fight uh, Cody. Cody, Corey, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> it's because he used to. It's he, a uh, bad yeah, day for you, isn't it? Corey Sandling. Good long year. Uh, Corey or uh, Marab. Oh, that's all I want to see because or, they or, deserve it. Yeah, or Cheeto does not. Bad. Cheeto doesn't. Cheeto's coming off a loss. Uh, he, no, he's coming off a win oh, okay. against Wait. Marlon Vera. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Much, My bad. Um, no, sorry, Marlon Vera. <laughs> oh God, um, Munoz, Munoz, yeah. Pedro Munoz. <laughs> Whoa, um, <laughs> Marlon Vera fighting himself. Yeah. Um, but yeah, fuck him. Bloody easy. Um, do you need a break? <laughs> yeah, guys, it's all right. Be back after this. <laughs> quick word from our quick, sponsors. Quick word from no one. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. I. Yeah. I want to see. I, I, I just, I'm just looking forward to Sean getting back in there again. Um. There's already been, you know, a hell of a lot of drama in the build up to this fight, the uh, between the press conference, between his interview on uh, Theo Vaughn's podcast, which we'll get into a little bit soon, and also, uh, I saw I saw in the MMA news today that he, like, did you see that that video that Nina put up um the other day of them chasing each other around like there's a big group of mm. people shooting fireworks at each other i don't know how old that video is i don't i don't know either but if it it's recent. if it is recent like it like it <clears throat> looked then that is stupid man like it's pretty dumb like a couple weeks out from your first title defense and you're shooting f- like bro what if one got in your eye or some shit you know well even like even just cuts you slightly yeah. boom you're out i think he did get cut i think he, he got burned yeah he got like burnt on his thing Mm. Yeah, pretty stupid. But what do we expect? Sean does crazy stuff, you know? Yeah, he um, does. I, I would have probably picked that fight <clears throat> as well. But it's just got so much riding on it, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, and, and that and Volk are both big. Yeah. And it's sure. it's like, I, I've seen so much about this Sean Strickland versus Drakus because, um, well, it's the first pay-per-view of the year, so it's going to be hyped at the moment, but yeah. But what I've what I've seen that has kind of got to me is these people that are saying that Sean has the most padded MMA record out of any out of any champion, and like be- fair enough, may- maybe. But like, did he did he intend to for it to be that way? No, he no, has just he fought every fight. every fight that they mm. have put in front of him, and it just so happened that it worked out that they put Izzy in front of him. And he took care of Izzy, and now he's the champ. So I don't think he's got a padded record at all. I think he's he's been at it for a very long time, you know. Been at it for ages, man. That's a very close fight against Cannonier as well. Could have gone either way. Could have. Um, um, and he, he steps in on late notice, yeah. you know, all the time. Yeah. So, of course, he's going to have, you know, a few losses on his record. But he doesn't give a shit about the losses on his record. He and just recently, wants to he fight. he hasn't lost much. No. Well, obviously, he lost against Cannonier and he lost against Pereira, but very close fight. 
very you close. A child. Yeah, there's a baby crying. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> sorry, baby, if you're watching. But yeah, yeah. No, I, I I agree. I don't think it's padded at all. If you look at Sean's record, you think that's padded. Look at uh, Islam before he won the belt. You know, look at Khabib, um, Khabib before he won the belt. You yeah. know. These are padded records. These are guys who are like intentionally mm. padding their, you know, their way into the exactly. taking easy fights. Whereas that's not Sean. And like, then, but and then, but look, look who they beat after they won the belt. Yeah, they beat some real top guy. It doesn't just because you do have a padded record and you haven't beat the best, doesn't mean you're not a deserving champion. That's right. And I mean, the other thing too is, what is Sean's record? Can we can we bring that up? Uh, it's like yeah, I think it's twenty three like or something. Doesn't have many losses. Lost to Usman. That's right. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's um, fucking nuts. Thorn Stickland, twenty-eight and five. So no, he's, he doesn't have a padded record. He's been fighting since day dot. Thirty-three fights, and you've had five losses. You know, the last three fights are uh, wins. Yeah, he's he's beat some real top guys, you know. Uh, I'm 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 Yep, he's good. He's he's okay. Uh, Abus, you know, whatever. But you know, Jack Manson, Uriah Hall. Boom, Jocko. Just just those Brandon two right Allen. there, Jack Manson, Uriah Hall. At, at a certain point in time, you know, I'm not saying it is now because obviously we don't see Uriah Hall fighting anymore, but. At a certain point in time, they're good wins. Beating those two guys, boom, that puts you Beating straight in those the, guys. Is, yeah, yeah, it's pretty impressive. Puts you right in the right in the conversation for a title shot. Yeah, um, um, I agree, and I that's agree. what's happened for him. So, <clears throat> I don't think it's padded at all. I think people who say that are casual. DDP, um, he's got a good chance of winning this fight. I think. Yeah, sorry, that's where I was going. Very confident. That's where I was going. People, people saying that Sean's got a padded record, and now that he beats Izzy, everyone just thinks he's some striking genius, and then he's going to go in there and dismantle DDP. I don't think that. No. He didn't fully dismantle Izzy. He still had to stand in there with five rounds and beat him. Yeah. So, like, sure, he took away a lot of his tools. Sure, some people want to say that Izzy didn't show up that night, but what I think is... Still Izzy. It's still Izzy. It's still a win over one of the greatest middleweights ever. Um... And yeah, these people that are, like DDP doesn't have a, a more impressive resume as such than Sean. Yeah, um, I'm not really well. Yeah, he doesn't probably exactly similar, have say. Eh? probably similar. Yeah, it's fairly similar, but it's, but not, it's, it's not, not really as lengthy. Compared, and yeah. and I think Sean has definitely taken a lot more risks in his career. Um, so it's a good is, fight. Yeah, it's a it's great an fight. fight. It's a very evenly matched fight. Um, we've got the very conventional boxing stance of Sean um, versus the Whatever like, extremely does. unconventional yeah. style of Drikus, which Drikus those is two very big together. and strong as well, which I think will play a big factor in this fight. Yeah. Um, Sean has asked. to keep him at, at distance, you know, he needs to keep that jab flowing. But I think he just needs to, well, I don't think he needs to keep him at distance. I think Sean needs to stay in distance because like dirty box. Yeah, dirty, just just pretty much more of what he did against Izzy. I mean, I've been watching a bit of tape on Drakus lately, just because you know I need oh, a help. Yeah. I, I need I'll a help my a guy. You know. Well, no, I've just been watching Drakus's fights. Right. Okay, I, I don't know why I said it like that, as if I'm preparing to fight Drakus, but maybe I am. Um, I'm watching film. I've been watching film, man. Uh, but he he blitzes a lot, right? He kind of yeah. stands on the outside, switches stance a lot, and then he kind of moves in um, at, at a very fast pace and throws some you know, hook, overhand, whatever. Like he just, he, he throws a lot of power shots. Um, so if Sean can keep within that, that range, then Drikus can't rush him like that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, so yeah, that's what, well, so what I think, yeah, I agree. I think but it'll force him to wrestle. He, if he can, if he, if, if Sean can keep him at his distance and pop him with the jab consistently and just keep stinging him with that jab, yeah, it's going to stop uh, Drikus' ability to, um, to blitz in. And yeah, it might force him to wrestle, and I don't think that's a great idea uh, on Drikus's behalf to try and wrestle because he's he is the more powerful man uh, on the feet. So I just see it; it's so evenly matched. I have no idea how that, that fight's going to go. I and really don't want to predict that fight. Like the other one. thing, we've seen Sean fight a five round fight so many times now. Yeah, he's, he's headlined uh, fight nights for mm -hmm. the longest time. Uh, we obviously just saw him fight five rounds against Izzy. 
We haven't seen that in we the UFC. We haven't seen it from Drakus. I the... would like to say, though, uh, I'm just going to pop up. Oh, I'll pull off Drakus real quick. What? Uh, nothing. So I'm going to pull up Drakus's um, record here on mm-hmm. stats.ufc.com. Um, <clears throat> why won't it? You're on it. Oh, yes, right. Yep. So oh, it's only showing the UFC fights. That might be because you're on UFC.com. Yeah, well. So if I go to Sherdog, we'll have a look. We'll pop it up. Shout out Sherdog. Sure sure Dog. Great site. So he's had a lot of five round experience back in the day before he um before he got to the UFC because I know he was a champion in KSW. But he's never. It doesn't look like he's ever really got. To he's the, never gone past the third look round. At these submissions, TKOs. He's man. He's got he's a never great gone past finish the third rate. round. Holy shit! Look at his finish rate. Yeah, man. His first decision was against Brad Travares in the UFC. That's crazy. Well, that's kind of what he said about Sean is that Sean's only got a thirty-three percent finish rate or something like that, um, compared to his probably nearly eighty percent at this rate, isn't it? Mm. Well, he's he's only went to decision once in a. 22, 22 yeah, okay. fights thing. So, the, yeah, it's 5%. 95% finish rate? Five, 5% five decision rate. That would mean 95%. <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah, I thanks. think you said 99. So, um, you did say 99, didn't you? I didn't, I said 95. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Run it back. Run it back. Still yeah, so knocking. Do you have any predictions? <laughs> do you have any predictions for this fight, Axon? Uh, well... Sean by decision. I'm just going to say it. I've got to say it because I, I I need to manifest it into existence. Like I manifested the Sean versus Izzy win. You don't actually. want to say Sean by first, second KO? No, I, I don't see it happening that way. I think if I'm going to be a smart man about uh, predicting this fight, I'm going to say Sean by fifth round decision. I want okay. I want him to I want him to hurt Drakus, you know? I want you don't him like to, Drakus. Hey? Um... I don't dislike Drakus. I just really love Sean. <laughs> You're a bit gay for Sean. And no, I'm not gay for Sean. I just we've been through a lot of the same shit, dude. It's uh, kind of funny. Like, yeah, but you bald as well. Yeah, we look fairly similar. Yeah, we do kind of look a little bit like him. Um, That's funny. I I own one one UFC shirt, and it's a Sean Strickland shirt. I I just yeah, I, I like Sean Strickland. I like, like what him. he's about. Um. And I like that he's real. You know what I mean? He's a real human being. It, well, everyone's a real human being, but he he doesn't hide anything from, yeah, from no, the yeah. public. And that gets him in a lot of shit sometimes, and sometimes it works out for him. But at the end of the day, you, yeah. you know that it's it's him. So I, I get like it. that. I get it. No, that's, yeah, it's a very exciting fight. Very, very exciting fight. And that's I'm glad that that's the first fight of the year. Well, not the first fight of the year, but the first pay-per-view card, main card, numbered card of the year. <clears throat> um. I'll circle back. I just wanted to mention my uh, the thing that I'm most excited for that has been announced, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot more. Uh, One ninety nine looks like, uh, sorry, two ninety nine looks like a great card. Oh. Um, the undercard of that of that is is amazing. Mm. But yeah, I really want to see Volk get a win. Can't wait to see that fight. I'm going to be on the edge of my seat the whole time. Uh, I think Volk will get it done. I'm pretty confident that he'll get it done. Uh, I'm not I'm not going to doubt Volk uh, just because he lost to probably the greatest fighter at the moment in the world yeah pound for pound wise <clears throat> so i think he goes back to featherweight he gets a win probably gets a couple wins and, and maybe rides off into the sunset because he's you know he's 36 years old now mm. um there is that stat about champions or people fighting over the age of 36 uh below middleweight it's like or champions defending or challenging and i think that the record is something like 36 lost to two wins and those two wins were tyron woodley over the age of uh, 35. Oh, right. So, Damn. Yeah. People over the age of 35 in title fights haven't been successful. Below, Under middleweight. Yeah, below middleweight. Right. Um, How old is so, Volk now? He's 36. Ooh. So, we'll see. We I still will. think he can do it. I still think thing, he can you know? as well. But, I mean, if he does take this loss to Ilya, and if he does take it in a pretty dramatic fashion via, you know, an early knockout or something like that. It's not going to be good. It's not going to be good, and it will be a point where we'll probably see him re- reevaluate a few things. Yeah, potentially even maybe <clears throat> move up to lightweight and, and yeah. have a, a crack at some some big fights up there. Mm. Um, in terms of names and, and that kind of thing, and then maybe. I mean, he's done enough. He has at this point, and it's a lot of. I just I'd love to see him get this one last win. Yeah, at featherweight, 
and then just be like, right, I'm done at featherweight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to properly crack myself into lightweight. Have a couple of fights before, you know, maybe a Poirier or a Gaethje. That would be oh, sick. That would be insane. But yeah, super excited for that. That's going to be a great fight. Can't wait to see Volk get another win. Another emphatic knockout. Prove that he's one of the best in the world still at the ripe age of 36. Um, but yeah, a lot of exciting stuff that's already been announced and, and a lot of exciting stuff to be announced as well. So, Moving off the MMA subject, Jorge. Or? Unretired? Yeah, apparently Jorge Masvidal's unretired. He tweeted about it. Um, he just literally tweeted unretired, didn't he? Yeah. yeah so... Well, it depends what you want to read into that. Ben Askren's been coming out talking about how he wants to fight him. Uh, no, no, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> That'd um, be funny. Obviously, that's not going to happen. Uh, ben Askren has been coming out saying that if Dana calls him and asks him to fight Jorge on UFC, UFC 300, because, you know, everyone's yeah, asking for that rematch. That's the one fight that we want to see. Yeah, we, we, we didn't see it play out properly. You know, it only lasted for... for Five seconds. Yeah. Um, I remember but, thinking that when it first happened. I was like, that needs to be run back. Really? Was, well, not, no. I was like, that sucks because we didn't see, like, who was, like, we could, we didn't have firm proof of who was better. It was a quick knockout. It was like a chance game and it paid off greatly. Mm, yeah. But I wanted to see, like, I wanted to see them stand for a bit. I wanted to see them go to the ground. I wanted to see what the fuck was going to happen. Jorge's return will be in boxing. So excited. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, I saw another clip today from, I really want to say Moicano. Um, oh, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure it was him. It was on his YouTube channel saying, because he trains at American Top Team. Right. Um, where Jorge has obviously trained for quite some time now. Um, and apparently he's only been boxing lately. Mm. So there's been no wrestling, no jujitsu, no conditioning. Oh, the guy's just bullshit. been going in there. Hitting some mitts, hitting the bag a little bit, doing a bit of, you know, striking spot. <laughs> a bit of a dribble there. Um, so he's just been boxing. He's just been boxing. So and and, and mm, that interesting. we have seen from other people, it is the natural succession to an MMA. Career. When you're washed up, when your career's done, yeah, not just, washed up, but when you're when you're done, when you basically. can't compete against the top guys in your, you in, know, in your sport, in your sport, <clears throat> you go over and and throw it all away against Jake Paul. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think, think he'll fight Jake Paul. No, I don't think he will either. I think we're happen. more likely to see someone like Jorge in the bare knuckle arena. And I think that would just be... That would be good. Yeah. Uh, hold up, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. for that shit. I right? have another thing that I want to see in 2024. Mike Perry. I want to see Mike Perry versus Jorge Masvidal. Do you not like Masvidal or something? What do you mean? He's, he would get fucked up. But in dude, that could fight. you just imagine that fight? Yeah, it'd be you know? great. It would Every, be great. Well, the, but... Here's the other thing. Everyone who steps in against Mike Perry gets fucked up. Yeah. Um, we've seen that. He also so gets fucked up. At the yeah, same he gets time. fucked up, but he just doesn't give a shit. He just doesn't care um, for some reason. But no, who no, else would, would you like to see Mars Vidal fight? I don't boxing. think that's going to happen. I think he will mm. want to box with gloves on. I, I, Mars Vidal has been through too much. He's earned too much money. He's he's living the life now. There's no way he's coming back to fight Bare Knuckle. Bare Knuckle Ooh. is insane, brother. That's too much for a guy like Masvidal nowadays. Eddie Alvarez versus Masvidal. That's another one. And bare knuckle. There's so many good bare knuckle fights for this dude. And Masvidal's got too dog. much money to. to and he used to fight bare knuckle. Yeah, but he's an old man now. Yeah. He's he's old. He's yeah. he's still got that dog in him. Don't get yeah. me wrong, but I don't think he's gonna want to fight bare knuckle, brother. I think he wants to go in there still with some nice brother. <laughs> <laughs> Who says brother like that? I don't know, but it's not you. You're not that guy. I've heard, I've been watching some YouTube videos. <laughs> and that's I'm saying it. Guy. I'm saying it, brother. Okay, um, brother. Oh, well, Hulk Hogan says it. You've been watching Hulk Hogan. Videos. Yeah, I watched a podcast. Damn, Hogan. Yeah, Joe nice. Rogan. Was it Joe oh, Rogan, really? Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Huh. Was that a recent one? Maybe like it came out like two months ago. Oh, huh. wow. pretty interesting. I think Theo Von also had one with him, and I watched that as well. Another really recent one. Yeah, he was yeah, promoting I something or yeah, something. May have yeah. heard that. But I think he's going to be boxing with gloves on. Maybe Mike Perry with gloves on. I, I just, you could be right. I think he's going to fight this year, but I think it's going to be in boxing. And I maybe against Nate Diaz. Oh. Hey. Hey. Hey now. Or, hey. hey now. Or that, hey. That is a good, that is a good little, that's a good little, good little quip. Maybe um, I'll put that back in the, in the horn box. So, what's well, going to happen? Yeah, but Nate has been talking about his return to the UFC. 
Yeah, but after don't, his, no, you know, he, don't do he it. left uh, MMA and, and then lost a boxing fight. So, you know, you naturally come back and fight for the title. So, yeah, Nate versus Jorge in a boxing match would be phenomenal. That'd be great. Do it, guys. You're both, you know, too old to really challenge for anything now. Nate, don't go back to the UFC. Unless it's to fight Connor one more time. That'd be, That'd cool. be cool. But, hey, just said the same thing. Should we stay on the time, subject guys. of boxing? <clears throat> AJ versus Nganu. AJ Vine versus Nganu. Love to see that. Um, <laughs> oh, I thought we were going to get away with never saying that name again. But anyway, yeah. AJ. AJ. Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua. Let me just, yeah. I'll say. <laughs> Anton Josh Josh. Um, That's his little nickname. This is Francis Nganu. Uh, yeah. Great it's fight. Confirmed. Very excited about this. We don't have a date yet. We don't. But uh, apparently the press conference is going to be in mid-January. Nice. Like 15th or some shit. So that should be good. Uh, yeah, well, both guys not really massive shit talkers but you know this is going to be a battle a brawl it's going to be good yeah Anthony Joshua not traditionally a shit talker but more being shit at talking <laughs> <laughs> I think he's he's like a hard road man you know they don't do much talking they're like sit, sit down bruv sit uh, down bruv if you yeah, want to get the times up, that he does talk there, is just gonna... like I preferred when he wasn't fair enough yeah I don't um, mind it, but they they both they do the talking with their fists. Oh yeah. You know? And this is this is AJ's obviously gonna go in there really well prepared because he's gonna he's he's obviously seen what happened with Fury. Mm. He's gonna go in there as sharp as it gets against Nganu. And I think we're gonna see one of these guys get finished. And you know, I think Nganu can do pretty well against someone like AJ, but if AJ is really well prepared and doesn't overlook <clears throat> Nganu, like maybe Fury no one's overlooking did. Nganu now. Not anymore. So I'm gonna do an early prediction. I think AJ's gonna gonna win here. I see that. I but can I can see that taking place. This is gonna have a lot of eyes on it. Eyes that Fury versus Nganu didn't have on it because it wasn't promoted well. Yeah. People didn't give Nganu a chance. And we now thought everyone it, gives him a chance. We thought it was a joke. Yeah. We exactly. thought it was a joke. We did. We laughed. We giggled. Ah. Francis versus Fury. <laughs> That's what we did. But now, he's proven that he can box against the best heavyweight boxer in the world. Now people are going to be like, ooh, I'm interested. Yeah. What's going to happen now, brother? And it's in Saudi. And there's going to be Ronaldo there with Connor talking like shit to him <laughs> the whole time. Oh, look at the watch. Look at the watch on my arm. Oh, Ronaldo. I should be fighting. I yeah. should be fighting Manny Pacquiao. Oh, oh that that's, a, that's another weird one. Yeah. Um, but Staying on topic. What do you think? I think... Yeah, I think you're right. I think Anthony Joshua will go in there very sharp. Um, and I think, I don't think we'll see Nganu have as much um, success in the clinch as he did against Tyson Fury. He did utilize a, a bit of an MMA clinch the whole time, which which worked it to his favor. But yeah, I think AJ will find a way of... Um, AJ is very strong. Yeah, AJ <laughs> is very strong. strong. But God, man... Uh, can't take anything away from the strength of Tyson Fury. That guy is huge. Yeah. So, but not not as like, you know, physically like built and strong like AJ is. You know. Oh no, no. But that can also that can also drain on you. If it you, can. Yeah. Um, not wrong there. So yeah, I think if he can if he can utilize his actual striking apart from uh, and instead of getting muscled around in the clinch by by Nganu, then okay, I think that that yeah. will be good. There's. So much to be learned out of watching that Tyson Fury versus Nganu fight um, in terms of finding little avenues to expose Francis. But at the end of the day, that equaliser is right there in his right hand. So, mm -hmm. um, One yeah. of these guys is going to get finished. For I, sure. I would love to see that, man. Yeah. I don't think it's going to go to decision um, personally. And if one of them gets knocked down, I hope they don't somehow win the fight. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I just um, want to see this fight. I can't wait for it. I'm yeah, going to be great. watching for sure. Uh, very exciting. Very exciting. We'll have more to talk about on that one, I think, shortly, uh, once there's a little bit more announced. And, Can I you know. just say one more thing? Because we have to do it every single time we talk about the guy. Because he's just he's such a great human being. He is. Francis he's and with Garner. Kim now as well. Kim yeah. Kardashian, Francis and Garner are together. What? Uh, confirmed by me just now. <laughs> just trying. I'm just okay. trying to get some clicks on yeah, the um, fucking channel. So it's going to be the headline of this video. He would have made more in that Tyson Fury fight than he would have in his whole UFC career, or, or nearly, I would say. Surely more. And now he's got this AJ fight. That is what? Even it, more money, probably. Yeah. Like, 
dude, this guy is he's set. Yeah, he's he's done exactly what he said he was going to do when he left the UFC. He took the gamble and it paid off. Yeah. And Dana's probably shitting his pants right, if right he, now at this very second. If he loses against Anthony Joshua, I do want to see him go back to MMA, though. Yeah. Just oh, because he's not got that many years left on the ticket. No, he though. doesn't have that many years left. And he is so much more dominant in MMA. Like, yeah. he has, and, and especially coming back now with all of this, like, this, you know, a lot more crisp striking, a lot more focused on his boxing, you know. God, to see for it, sure. like if if we thought he had knockout uh, uh, power slash potential beforehand in terms of finding people's chins, that is only going to go like way up here. Yeah, um, no, through the roof for yeah. sure. <clears throat> yeah, his crisp boxing and MMA is dirty boxing. It's all going to have improved massively after all Ooh, this. Scary to think scary. about. He's a scary motherfucker. Uh, one last topic, eh? Theo and uh, Theo Vaughn and Sean Strickland did a podcast together. We both listen to it now. Mm. It was really insightful. Um, Sean got a, a wee bit upset, kind of broke down at one point. Uh, Theo was really good. He dealt with that really well, I thought. Yeah. Uh, he just kind of said, look, we can just sit here. Doesn't, you don't have to talk. Which yeah. Was, you know, I, that's pretty impressive. It is awesome, good man. Good friend. Because, yeah. It, and I think there's been a lot of people coming out saying, you know, um, Sean shouldn't have done this. Sean shouldn't have done that. Sean uh, shouldn't have said this about someone if he gets upset about this. You know, fair enough. But, like, have some empathy towards the guy, right? Yeah. Just for a second. This dude was abused through his childhood. Um, he's now, he, he hasn't done anything about that, by the way. Um, not to my knowledge, yeah, at least in terms therapy, of, yeah, he, so he, he does need to go to therapy. To... Like, if, if he was my friend, I'd be, like, begging him to do that. But yeah. you can't, like, I've, I've had friends who have begged to do <laughs> that, and you can't beg for people to get help. Mm, they need, to, they need really, to do it themselves. Like, the amount of trauma he's got, he, God, he really should go and yeah. work. Maybe he'd just be forget fighting though if but went. what i'm saying is is if you've got someone like that with all of this past you know stuff pent up inside of you and you haven't dealt with any of it and you put a camera in this person's face you know like for the majority of their adult life now of course they're going to oh, say but... some stupid shit of course they're going to say some stuff that offends people this guy is only like in my opinion this guy is only lashing out against people to protect himself up until this point and and now that he's let that all out and that he's vulnerable about he's, it, yeah. I think he's going to be a lot more powerful for it. Okay, yeah, he's made some mistakes. He's gone a little bit too far at times, but like, yeah, it's not, it's never nice to bring up trauma. But saying that, there's a few times that he's brought up trauma. So, yeah, he's not perfect. He's a very flawed human being. Mm. But it's because he's had a rough time. Yeah, you know? that's um, what I'm saying. There needs to be like the the MMA fan base sometimes is just so brutal. Mm. You know. Like yeah, whether it be on you instantly, yeah, that's right, and 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 you you don't even need to agree with it. Sometimes it's just the whole community just sways one yeah. way or the other. Sometimes, and I think, yeah, I think there's been a lot of chat about him not um oh what like you can't cry about like I I take my hat off to him for for crying on a yeah, podcast and up. and he 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 could have just said don't post it. But he didn't give a shit. Yeah, he's a man, man about it. And <clears throat> it's just, yeah, there's, the only thing, like, it's great. Every, all this is great. The only thing with Sean, it's just like, you do have to know that if you're going at loads of people like this about, you know, mm. Ian Gary's wife, about um, yeah. Strickland, uh, DDP's relationship with his coach, which isn't big, yeah. you know, calling O'Malley his relationship, calling that out, um, mm. talking about Khalil Roundtree and his depression and, you know, talking about how he cried uh, post-fight and all this stuff. You're going to do all that stuff. Look, people are going to use your shit as ammunition. Yeah. It's just how it works in this game That's and right. in life, and really, in general. If you're going to be like that, people are going to find what they can about you. And, like, to be honest, what Drick has said, like, he was not doing it in that bad of a way, what he said. But Sean did, like, instant. Obviously, yeah, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. You've got to know if you can dish it out. You're going to have to be able to take it. Mm. And he's dished it out a fair amount, you know, and it's great that he is opening up now, but, you know, he, can't, he just has to understand. And even on that podcast, he said there's certain things you don't go over. Family, trauma, people's wives, families, you know, yeah, he's done he's, that. Yeah, he's gone over all of those, yeah. Yeah, so it's like a little bit of a, a, a hypocritical statement, but I don't think he's, you know, I think he's aware of that. Mm. Not perfect. Yeah. Um, but it was good to see. Drickus, yeah, he commented on it. He, he, he had a pretty good reply. Yeah. I think it was an interview on MMA on point. If you guys wanted to watch that, he basically just said, 
look, you've got to be able to... He basically said what we just said. Yeah. <laughs> but at the end of it, he said, no no child deserves to go through that. Oh, no, exactly. Yeah. And I think that is a Lucas very honorable well. thing. Lucas seems like a good guy. He could have just added on like to what he'd said before and, and he would have had all the right because of what we've just said. Like yeah. Sean has dished out all the stuff before. But yeah, I, I think play. for me, I think Sean obviously needs therapy. therapy. Um, and, but at the end of the day, I think he just needs to more just keep doing what he's doing because he's like, like he said so many times, he would be a piece of shit outside of this. And I think um, as a statistic, people who go through child abuse and, and uh, you know, like might be a borderline Nazi when they're a teenager, I think those people statistically are more likely to be in prison right now than they are to be yeah, on a world stage found something. fighting for a title. So he just needs to just needs to stay on this track. What about when he retires? I'm worried. That's yeah. I, I, like <laughs> he needs to get therapy. Yeah, he needs um, like a, yeah. a dog or something. I, I don't know. A dog to beat to fuck. Mm, like, is he? I think um, that's a good. St- you yeah. know what? Let's segue what into makes- this drink here. So. Boss Coffee, double iced double espresso with a dash of milk, brewed hot, chilled fast, number one canned coffee in Japan, 237 mil, 88 calories per can, energy, 367 kilojoules, 4% DI. <laughs> <laughs> um, this drink, yeah. A good drip. What do you think? I, I really like it. I've had a couple before. I know how much you like this drink. Mm. Is this the one that you usually get? Yeah, this is the one that I usually get. Um. I had a bit of a, a moment at the at the servo and I didn't know if we'd already reviewed one of these before. So I was like a bit skits, but no, we haven't. I, yeah. I checked. I checked our little... Not reviewed this one yet. Uh, I think out of, like it. out of the Boss Coffee flavors, I've tried all of them this personally. Is the this is the best one. Um, it's not too sweet. A nice amount of milk, I think, for, a, for yeah. a coffee. It's just enough. A splash. And the thing I think yeah. I like about these more than other canned coffees is it's real coffee. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it actually, like it's actually coffee. brewed coffee um, instead of some sugary, shitty mix yeah. that they, you know? That's so good. I, I rate Very this. Good. I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to see where you, where you... I'll put it... I'm going to put it here. Okay. Below Iron Brew? Close to here, but yeah, I'll, I'll put it here. Well, I'm going to put it in above Iron Brew. Yeah. Personally, yep. Okay. I'll do that. I'll, I'll I'll agree to that, and I think it's quite funny, isn't it? Because we are very biased. Um, you having your Lucas Aid right up there. Well, yeah. And me now. Uh, <laughs> hey, I I would put this at the top. I would put oh, Boss would Coffee at the top. It okay. is my it is well, it's my go to. Well, you want to put it as like a tied first? Then. No, it's it. Well, you wanted to put it in third. I wanted to put it at the top, so okay. we put it in second. Second place. Yeah. So, Boss Coffee with a dash of milk, double espresso, double brew goes in at number two i think the thing is pretty impressive we have kept a lot of avenues open here you know i mean we've got we've got drinks like prime which has so many flavors yeah. uh you know the old chubba chub has a couple other flavors too uh obviously boss wang Coffee. lao might have a couple of other flavors. wang lao does not unfortunately um very unfortunate not that have been released here at least anyway they might have a, a whole you know whole slew of different um flavors over in the old sorry jared as well, land man. yeah jared what i'd like from you if you're listening which you're probably not but if you are can you give us another drink to review because we've something wrong with your you. gong tea was okay was, yeah it was pretty all much, the drinks have been okay pretty marginal Lau, which was terrible <laughs> anyway guys anyway Anyway. This has been us, our return to 2024 after our little hiatus that we took. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Any final words from you? Uh, yes. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, as always, we do ask for your input. Money. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. <laughs> for your input. Uh, we love to hear what you guys would like to see. Maybe a new segment you've, uh, you've been thinking up that we could do. So we're open to ideas, but... Yeah, in the meantime, I as well hope you enjoyed our first first episode back, but we'll be back in uh We'll be back on Saturday. We will. You'll see us on Saturday. So yeah, have a great week. Goodbye. <laughs>